Riley's family got the phone call they hoped to never receive, letting them know that their son was missing. And right now they continue to search here on the ground, but they tell me this has been an emotional roller coaster over the last week. They say every phone call, every ping they hope will be the final thing that connects them to Riley. Now today's search efforts have been mostly focused once again near the river, including around First Street. OEM has had boats, drones and canines out today. That's in addition to Riley's family searching. One week later, his family tells me that friends who have been coming into town to help have had to head home and others are coming into town. But the bottom line is they don't want to leave Nashville without Riley. We're, we're ready. We're ready, you know, so it's an emotional roller coaster. Every time the phone rings, every time a text pop, you know, pings, you're you're like you're jumping and there is no relaxing. We're not able to, uh, you know, rest very well because middle of the night you hear that ping, you're, you're jumping up. You're like, is it Riley? Is it, you know, somebody that knows something about Riley? So, yeah, it, it's it's time. It's time to bring him home. Now, his family does want to thank everyone who's come out, even strangers helping to look for Riley. And once again, if you have any information on where he might be, you're asked to call Metro Police right away. Reporting live from downtown, I'm Nikki McGee at News 2. Thank you so much, Nikki. News 2 will have continuing coverage as officials work to locate Riley Strain. For a full timeline of search efforts, you can visit our website at WKRN.com.